Let me take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but... It just hasn't felt this... this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Always does. We'll be okay. Trust me. If you say so. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Really? Now? Look, Clem, I know we're all hurting. But I need your help here, okay? I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem, just be careful. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but Luke... I don't care. You can't do that. Jesus, Clem. You know me. You know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. It won't happen again. That's a promise. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son bitch. But he taught me respect. Girl like Jane. Could learn a thing or two about that. She's not easy to like. Well, that's putting it mild. Feels like another Lily situation to me. All right, give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. We should go back south. Will we cross those mountains again? We'll run out of gas and die picking our way down. There's nothing back there for us. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. 
We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. And Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! I've seen that look before. Son of a bitch! I can't believe what he did to Arvo. Next time he's gonna kill him. Do you really want to be around for that? I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job, and a nice, pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. I guess we're getting close. That's what worries me. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. I can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car, hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. All that for one person? That's what I'm saying. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky, like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. 